Well, hello and a good morning from me to you. You do hear little demon sounds. That is the demon walking amongst us. And have you ever wondered what pesticides are found in your produce? Yes, pesticides. The pesticides that are found in foods can still linger on the produce before you eat it. And this can bring amongst lots of impurities to your body that you don't want to eat. So today we're talking about the dirty dust and foods. And if you don't know about these, please do a Google search and look up what is the dirty dust and food list and write it down so whenever you go shopping produce from that list make sure that you take it home and wash it well before you eat it so the one that i'm talking about today is always number one on the dirty dust and food list and it is strawberries my favorite fruit and also yeah. one of the highest pesticide um produce that you can get and that is because the way that they are formed they use certain chemicals to get rid of the bugs and to keep them healthy but it's not healthy for us to eat so how does that work huh it's healthy for the strawberry but not for us hmm. makes you think about it right this agriculture industry anyways let's not get political or you know conspiracy theories follow me for more conspiracy theories It's a real, no, real, real. Ah! Anyways, <clears throat> back to the strawberries. Back to earth. Strawberries. You have to wash them a certain way before you can eat them. And this is the way that I will teach you. You can do it at home. It's super duper easy. All you have to do is leave them soaking in some salt water and you will see whatever impurities come out of it some produce are worse than others um it just kind of depends on um the brand like whoever farmed them pretty much okay so here we go we have a bowl with water big enough to fill my two little tubs of strawberries I got. Yes, I'm missing a nail. <laughs> Say hello, little one. Baby. Come help. Come on, we gotta put the salt in there. You ready? Yay! Two, you just gonna pour a bunch of salt in there. Just fill that up with salt. And then you just want to stir it up a little bit, which is fine because the salt's going to either dissolve or it's going to settle back at the bottom, no matter. As long as you have some salty water, that's all that matters. And then you just got to dump your strawberries in there now. There we go. We got those suckers in there. They're going to take a nice little bath and we'll come back and check on them and make sure to show you guys what will come out of this. And it's going to be a little mind-blowing. The first time I did it, I was like, ew, I've been eating them like that. So, yeah. Are you cleaning, buddy? Are you cleaning? And now we'll see. Put it on a white surface so you can see. That's all the stuff that came out of it. 
These are not too bad. I've seen other strawberries that turn the water like dirt color. So these are good. Now they're ready. I'll chop the heads off the strawberries and then I'll throw them in a zipper blah, uh, in a zipper bag for the freezer.